so hey everyone this is paras patidar from mlid so uh, today we will be working on app engine which will be deploying a python web, uh, application on the web um, on the app engine on the google cloud platform so basically um, like i am using i am doing with the help of quick labs so like what is what is basically app engine like um, for developers just you don't have to worry anything just you have to write the code App engine will take care all of it. Okay, so like the app engine send environment um, is based on container instance. Okay, so which is um, which are all running on Google infrastructure. Okay, some con so containers are configured with like pre configured with some of the server available runtime. Like you can say Java, Python, Go, PHP, and many languages. Okay, so like so basically each runtime they include libraries that supports APIs and all. Okay. So like libraries and runtimes are available there. So like you have to just um, deploy a web a Python web application and just you don't have to worry anything. Okay. So basically, what is App Engine standard environment? What is basically does? Okay. Like it basically help to build and deploy application that run on heavy load and and can store large amounts of data. Okay. So like you can get a persistent storage with you can do where you can do queries sorting transactions okay you can do automatic scaling load balancing okay you can do asynchronous task queues for performing work outside the scope of the request okay you can do schedule tasks for triggering events you can integrate with other google cloud apis which are available there okay so here basically we'll be like working with the app engine so let's get started like basically first go to this API and services then go to library then here search here app engine API app engine API so you have seen um, like app engine API okay like loading okay like i'm very satisfied with the repairs and services okay so like i'll do it nine what is notification so here app in any pair like my api is enabled okay so like basically what we'll do like we'll go to this uh, like we'll open our cloud shell okay like we are starting a cloud shell okay cloud shell is opening let it take some time to establish the connection okay then then go to this um, like um, there's a link from which from where we will like clone uh, this project okay like um, google cloud platform gave this um, like on quick labs okay so enter it and clone it you can upload your own samples on github and you can clone it, clone that okay so here some files got cloned okay then basically what we have to do is we have to change the directory and we have to go the, in the directory okay like python Okay, then there is one one more directory app engine, then standard one more directory, then there is one more directory hello world. Okay, so basically hello world. Like we change we change the directories. Okay, and then basically what we will do like we will test our application. Okay, so like we will test our application with google cloud development server which is pre-installed on app engine sdk okay so like we will write development dev underscore app server app server and there is a like this dot pma extension okay 
so from in our directory there is a file consists of app dot yml okay so yml yml configuration is the file is for con used for configurations okay so we will dev underscore app server dot py app dot yml okay so with this and we will test our server and it is server now server is running okay on port like mm, there is a port it's 8080 okay so we'll go to this web preview then go to preview on port 8080 okay so you will see in the button hello world okay this is in our python okay then we can if you even want to make changes like you can go to plus button okay, you, have to, you have to make some changes in our python file so you can go to plus button <laughs> then clone this files again okay okay so yet the file exists so basically what we'll do we'll change the directory okay go to so i have like copied the directory okay so we have changed our directory so basically what we have to do now like we will use a command called nano and we'll open our file main.py okay which will be editing oh sorry okay so here file got edited so here we will we write something like hello world like we will be writing hello everyone okay so we can write this and if we want to save changes okay so like Control X and press Y and enter. Okay, the file got saved. And if you again preview this file and put 8080, you will see the difference. Okay, here hello everyone, MLIT here. Then here hello, hello world. Okay, so we have made, made the changes. Then we will deploy our app. Okay, with the app in, on the app engine. So with the root directory. And we have to take our app.yml file okay so like g cloud just wait a simple command g cloud app deploy okay so the all like in the based on commands okay the, the cli g cloud is the command line interface for gcp we are using so like we have to write g cloud app deploy okay so it will deploy our app okay so it is getting deployed okay So basically, it will, it will ask you to choose the region. If I choose one, so it is creating the app engine and deploying it. Okay, it will take some time. The yeah, it's working on it. I go to press Y after it. Okay. So deployment is called uploading five files to Google Cloud Storage. It's uploading service. Okay. Yeah, you tell that time like you can like see different APIs here. Okay, yeah. So like mm, it got deployed. Then just you have to if you have to browse your like in your app so it is written google cloud g cloud app browse okay so you can go there paste g cloud app browse okay so you can go to this link which is available here right here okay this one so you can go to this link and your app got deployed okay you can see here hello everyone i'm an idea on this you can share this link and like your app got deployed okay so basically this is the like basic way to deploy the python web on app engine
okay if you want some more like on the java and all different php go so please comment in the comment section box we will make we will make the on and again okay so like um, thank you guys and stay connected if for more upcoming videos okay like i have to ask one more question um, like if you like more gcp videos like if you are like this video is interesting please comment in the comment section box if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel so thank you guys and stay connected